Gray. Gray, baby, do you want to be in the video? Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. You guys, this is my baby Gray. Say hi. <laughs> you guys should follow him on Instagram at Gray the Doodle. He is the sweetest little nugget in the whole world. He is a little snuggle baby boy. Great baby, look, he's scared. He's scared of all the lights. Look in the camera, Bubba. Oh, I love him. He's just a big fluff ball, but we need to actually get into the video. Hey guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we're gonna be doing a first impression slash full face of ColourPop cosmetics or ColourPop makeup, whatever you wanna call it. So basically how we're gonna do this is I purchased a bunch of things from ColourPop. Now they don't have like a full face of ColourPop, but I bought everything, or not, I didn't buy everything, like, <laughs> but I buy one thing from, or one or two things from each of their categories. So basically I'm just gonna be testing out every product that they make for each part of the face. If that makes sense. All right, you guys, so let's start off with eyebrows. I have this little eyebrow pencil here in the color dark brown. So let's go ahead and fill in my brows. Honestly, this brow pencil is freaking bomb. Like, I have tried lots of brow pencils, and usually they're not like super pigmented and they don't like show up very harshly and I always kind of like to draw in my brows in a certain way because I already have pretty thick brows so I just use the pencil to kind of shape them and make them a tiny bit darker. Um, oh my gosh, this brow pencil is fantastic. Like this is better than like half the brow pencils that I own, like expensive ones. Like I have both of the, I have the Anastasia one and the Benefit one and I have an IT one as well, and I have like a MAC one and a BH one, and I have a ton of them. This is freaking amazing, because it actually shows up. Yep, 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 we're best friends now. We're, me and this brow pencil, it's over, it's over. We're best friends now. Oh my gosh, actually this super, this is a super cute little cap thingy. Oh, that's so cute, I love that cap. Okay, so I'm gonna shake it up. Ooh, that is really, really stinking pretty. I think I'm gonna use a little brush to put it on. Yeah. So it's definitely more on the natural side, but it looks pretty darn good. And actually using this brush to apply it, it's not like lifting the foundation or anything. So that's really good because a lot of the times when you use liquid highlighters, brushes will take the foundation that you have on underneath it just off so and i'm not noticing a whole lot of lifting or like patchiness so that's good i mean it's definitely more on the natural side like this is not like the color effects liquid like they literally look like metal highlighters those are freaking amazing this is definitely more on the natural side. I'm not hating it, but I'm not like obsessed with it just because it doesn't really look like a whole lot is happening, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna set my face and then we are gonna go in with some bronzer and blush and then obviously more highlighter because you can never have enough highlighter, am I right? Oh, I, I, yeah. All right, so now let's go in with some bronzer. I need to pop this out really quick because I put it in there and I didn't realize that the name was on the back. Like it came separately, the pan came separate and then they gave me this box to put it in. Oh shoot, how am I gonna get this out? All right, so this is the time we have all been waiting for. Joby's pale, too light of foundation face needs to bronze the heck up. So this is the bronzer called Afternoon Delight. 
It looks a little bit dark. Hopefully it's it doesn't oxidize or anything because that would be really bad. <laughs> All right, so now we are bronzed up and finally looking like an actual human. Honestly, that liquid highlighter that I put on is kind of starting to chunk up and look like really gross. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just like, yeah, it's not looking too cute. So <laughs> yeah, that is a pass for me. The liquid highlighter is definitely a huge pass for me, but we're just gonna cover it up with more blinding highlighter. That looks a lot better, so uh, just wait. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. But first we are going to blush our faces. This is the Super Shock Cheek Matte in the color Holiday. It's so bright, it's like neon. I'm gonna go in very light-handedly just because I don't want this to be like Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna start patting. I'm scared this is gonna go too intense. Oh, it's really pretty though. It's like a natural, like, or not natural, but like rosy. Like when you think rosy cheeks, you think like a bright pinky, peachy color and that is exactly what this looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. I like this. So what I like, I like to kind of stamp the blush in instead of like go like this just cause I feel like when you're stamping the blush in, it's kind of like packing the blush onto your face a little bit more and like not making it more pigmented but kind of just distributing the product more evenly than like going like this. So that's why I'm like punching my face with this brush. <laughs> I'm also super into like a really intense blush. Um, a lot of people are onto the whole no blush thing, but I really, really like a really intense blush just because I feel like it adds color to the face and makes you look more like a human than just like a flat, or not flat, but instead of being just like a perfect porcelain with perfect bronzer or perfect contour and everything. I feel like blush makes you look more like a living person, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia A23 brush and we're just gonna go in here and pop this on the cheek. So now let's move on to the eyeshadow. I got this really cute little three set on their website with Issa, Frog, and Whittle. So definitely we're going for a purple toned look today. What the heck, this eyeshadow look is freaking bomb. I'm very proud of how this turned out, but I need a brow bone highlighter, so I think I'm gonna dive back into those ColourPop highlighters, and I do, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I have this one called Over the Moon and it's like a purple reflect, like a bluey purple reflect one. <laughs> so I need to use this as my brow bone highlight because it fits in with the whole purple theme. I'm super into this look right now. I feel very like space princess. Well, not space princess, but like, space princess. What the heck, ColourPop? Freaking showing it up. Showing up to the game with their bomb prices being like, what's good? And then like, the quality is just fantastic. Like these eyeshadows, I don't think I, I think these ColourPop eyeshadows are one of a kind. I don't think any of other brand has the liquid type formula eyeshadow. Like it's not liquid, but it's like, it's like a putty type formula, which is really, really good for blending. And honestly, you don't even need a transition type thing when you go in with this type of shade. So I used this shade. I plopped it down in the shape I liked and then I took a blending brush and just blended it up. And honestly, like, 
I'm I'm just super into this. No fallout at all whatsoever because the formula is that like putty type material formula. So you're not gonna get any fallout on your face, which is like really awesome. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not too big of a hater on fallout. Like it's annoying. Oh shoot, as I talk about fallout, there's literally like a purple chunk on my chin. Cool. Anyways, I'm not the biggest hater of Fallout, but it does get annoying. Like, I can understand Fallout is Fallout. It's whatever. You can dust it away. But it's annoying, but honestly, these shadows are freaking amazing. Brows look like really nice and natural looking. My eyeshadow is freaking showing up and popping all over everybody. Um, also, this liquid shadow is really nice. Yeah, so we got a full full eyeshadow look of only shimmer shades. I'm a fan of it, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> so now let's go in with some ColourPop eyeliners. I have the shade Swerve, which is black, and then I also have the shade Exit, which is white. I think I'm just gonna pop this like on my lower waterline and this in my upper waterline and call it a day. Dude, these, these are bomb. They're so creamy and they're really blendable, like dang. Yeah, I recommend those. Honestly, the only thing that I don't like from ColourPop so far is that liquid highlighter. Um, everything else is like being amazing. It's just being amazing. <sighs> so you guys, the eye look is finished, the face is finished, but the problem is the lippies that I have from ColourPop are just not right. This could be right. This is the ultra metallic lip in the color Salt, but I don't wanna wear this just on its own, and I don't have any other colors of the matte liquid lipstick from um, ColourPop, so I think I'm gonna use another brand of lip, 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 another brand of liquid lipstick and then put this on top. So don't scream at me, but do you really want me to put this on with this eye look? All right, so I'm gonna pop on Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. This is, isn't this so cute? This tiny, tiny little one. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let that dry really quickly and then pop this bad boy right on top. All right, so the whole makeup look is done. The last thing we gotta do is set our face with the Amber Crystal Setting Spray. Now this is orange and I'm kind of scared that might like do something to the makeup and it's a pretty intense spray but it's kind of splotchy. Well that was the spray. Okay, let's just go. Honestly the spray isn't bad. It just wasn't as fine. It, it wasn't as fine of a mist as I usually prefer. It smells really good. I wonder what's in this. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I'm honestly really impressed with everything. The only thing I didn't like is the highlighter, liquid highlighter, but everything else is absolutely bomb. I am so, so impressed with the eyebrow stuff. Like, girl is gonna be using that eyebrow pencil for days. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!